the polar code was actually asked in the 2022 upsc examination what is imo international maritime organizations polar code the imo's international code for ships in operating in polar waters which is the polar code is mandatory under both the international conventions for the safety of life at sea the solas and the international convention for the prevention of pollution from ships the marpol the polar code covers the full range of design construction equipment operational training search and rescue and environmental protection matters relevant to ships operating in the inhospitable waters surrounding the two poles the polar code enter into force on 1st january 2017 The Polar Code and the Solas Amendments were adopted during the 94th session of IMO's Maritime Safety Committee, the MSC, in November 2014. The Environmental Provisions and Marpol Amendments were adopted during the 68th session of the Marine Environmental Protection Committee, or the MEPC, in May 2015. The Polar Code is intended to cover the full range of shipping-related matters. relevant to navigation in waters surrounding the two poles it includes the ship design construction and equipment operational and training concerns search and rescue and equally important the protection of the unique environment and ecosystems of the polar regions the code will require ships intending to operating in the defined waters of the antarctic and the arctic to apply for a polar ship certificate which would classify the vessel as category A ship which are ships designed for operation in polar waters at least in medium first ice which may include old ice inclusions like category B ship a ship not included in category A designed for operation in polar waters in at least thin first ice which may include old ice inclusions or category C ship a ship designed to operate in open water or in an ice condition less severe than those included in the issuance of a certificate would require an assessment taking into account the anticipated range of operating conditions and hazards the ships may encounter in the polar waters the assessment would include information on identified operational limitations and plans or procedures or additional safety equipment necessary to mitigate incidents with the potential safety or environmental consequences ships need to carry a polar water operational manual to provide the owner operator master and crew with sufficient information regarding the ship's operational capabilities and limitations in order to support the decision making process the safety of ships operating in the harsh remote and vulnerable polar areas and the protection of the pristine environments around the two poles have always been a matter of great concern for international maritime organization and many relevant requirements provisions and recommendations have been developed over the last so many years trends and forecast indicate that polar shipping will grow in volume and diversify in nature over the coming years and these challenges need to be met with compromising either safety of life at sea of the sustainability of the polar environment ships operating in the arctic and antarctic environments are exposed to a number of unique risk factors poor weather conditions and the relative of lack of good charts communication systems and other navigational aids pose challenges for mariners the remoteness of the areas makes rescue or clean up operations very difficult and costly cold temperatures may reduce the effectiveness of numerous components of the ships ranging from deck machinery and emergency equipment to sea suctions when ice is present it can impose additional loads on the hull propulsion system and appendages the international code of safety for ships operating in polar waters the polar code covers the full range of design construction equipment operational training search rescue and environmental protection matters relevant to ships operating in the inhospitable waters surrounding the two poles the polar code has an implementation schedule that faced its initial requirements over time allowing the maritime industry to adapt gradually to the new standards the international code for ships operating in polar waters represents a significant step in improving safety and environmental protection in the polar regions 
where unique challenges require specialized regulations to ensure the well-being of both the crews and the ecosystems in these remote areas.